Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at Latte Art One Percenters. Hey guys, so there's a lot of things that go into pouring really good latte art and I think a lot of the time there's a lot of little things which people don't really uh, know about and so I thought I'd create a little video um, of a lot of little things that add up to really good latte art. So the first things are things which make the coffee taste really good and they also help to really make sure your latte art is on point. So before you even get started with the pour, you're gonna make sure that you're using nice freshly roasted coffee. Coffee that's aged at least a week, but not really more than a month. Kind of that uh, two to three week periods is that really that nice time for coffee. And so you wanna make sure that you're grinding that on demand and so you're getting a nice extraction, that really nice syrupy looking extraction that isn't too fast or too slow so that you have a nice canvas to work your uh, pattern onto. Now you gotta texture that milk. So when you're texturing that milk, you gotta make sure that you get that whirlpool going straight away and you keep the steam arm nice and straight in the same position. So when you add your air, that whirlpool incorporates it into the milk and you get that nice uh, silky wet paint look milk when you're done. Now once you've got your milk and your coffee, there's a couple of little things that I do that you wouldn't see in a compilation video. So what I like to do next is take the cup and just give it a bit of a swirl and that just breaks up the crema a little bit so that there's nothing stuck when you start to pour your pattern. And when it comes to the milk, I like to give that milk jug a bit of a tap and a swirl as well. And then I like to pour off just a little bit of that milk, um, just that top sort of a centimeter or so, which is usually a little bit airy, and it will just help make sure your pattern's nice and clear when you start your pour. Now it's time to take the jug and the cup and start the pour. Um, so all these things we've learned are before we even pour the coffee. So it just goes to show there's lots of things that uh, go into making your latte up. Now when you start pouring, I would keep your jug and your cup in a similar kind of position every time. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. When you're starting out, it's probably best to hold the cup uh, onto the table on an angle and start your pour that way. That way your cup will stay nice and steady. But to show you how I pour, I guess I'm gonna need a jug and a cup. Hey, hey, look at that. So what I like to do is hold my elbow against uh, the side of my chest here and that keeps my cup nice and steady. And then I'll just give that a swirl, no pressure. All right, let me just take a snap of this so you will know it. So you'll see this on Coffee Fusion Snapchat for the next 24 hours. So guys, whatever your pour style, um, just remember to keep it really consistent. So every time you go to pour, go through the same routine and then you'll build up this muscle memory that'll make it really easy for you to repeat your results. And once you've got the basics down, you can then play around with your style. Um, for me now, I'm pouring uh, by holding the jug lower when I pour rosettas. And I find that really helps me get that pour uh, moving around in the cup. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you learned something, just give the video a like because it really helps me and I'm trying to build this big community where we can all help each other uh, learn to uh, make better coffee. And to that effect, guys, if you have a little 1% tip which you think helps pour better latte out, Put it in the comments below and we'll learn even further. If you're not finished reading and watching coffee videos uh, for the night, make sure you go to coffeefusion.com.au, check out the blog post there. The latest one I did was on uh, why I love Nespresso. Uh, so that should be clickbait enough for you to uh, check out that. And remember, there's so many things going on with Coffee Fusion. Uh, as I was saying, Coffee Fusion on Snapchat, um, at the Coffee Fusion on Instagram if you want to be a part of Free Pour Friday and YouTube we have videos on Tuesday and Thursday so if this is your first video make sure you click subscribe and there'll be new content twice a week. That's all from me guys I'll see you on Thursday for the next Latte Art compilation. Bye for now. I'm still on audio, I didn't realize I forgot to turn it off.